episode five of CIBC Kids. I'm Mr. Patrick, and this is my wife, Miss Kendra. Welcome back, guys. We're gonna sing a song this morning that should be very familiar to you. We've done this, we did this a few weeks ago, I believe, but if you're sitting, please stand up and let's sing this together. We're gonna sing, I'm in right, out right, upright, down right, happy all the time, all right? All right, let's go. Miss Kendra, do you think we could do it a little faster? I think we could definitely kick it up a couple notches. Here we go. Ready? All right, here Put we go. Are you guys ready? ready? I'm in right, out right, up right, down right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out right, up right, down right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. Here we go, fast. I'm in right, up right, up right, down right, happy all the time. Guys did a fantastic job. All right, song number two. We're gonna sing Who's the King of the Jungle? I heard you guys like this one a lot, so we brought it back for this week. All right, who's the, the king of the, the jungle? The one with the gorilla. Yes. Right? Okay, good. Here we go. Who is the king of the jungle? Who, who, who is the king of the sea? Who is the king of the this morning that we're going to sing is obedience, all right? I think this is familiar for some of you, but if you've never sung it before, we'll learn it really quick, all right? Follow me. We'll sing it through twice. We need those um, older kid spellers out there, so if you're good at spelling, this song is for you. All right, here we go. Obedience is the very best way to show that you Fantastic job singing this morning. Thank you for that. For just a few minutes this morning, I want to talk about the subject of obedience. We sang the song, Obedience is the Very Best Way to Show That You Believe. We did all the motions. Some of you guys even knew how to spell it out. We're going to talk just for a few minutes this morning about the subject of obedience. Obedience is, let's just say mom or dad asks you to clean your room. Obedience says, yeah, all right, mom, I'm in the middle of this, but sure, I'll clean my room. Obedience is immediate action. You're doing it right away. 
Who remembers a story in the Bible about a man named Jonah? Before I spoil it, what happened? Jonah was told by God, go to Nineveh. God said, go, and Jonah said, now, I'm going to do it my way. Jonah goes in the total opposite direction of where he was supposed to go, and he jumps on the ship, and he thinks, I've, I've, I've outrun God. God can't see me. And all of a sudden, this big storm comes, and, and, and men find out that Jonah's running from God, and they, Jonah says, just throw me overboard, and everything's going to stop. So the men throw Jonah overboard, and Jonah gets swallowed by this great big fish. That's horrible. Jonah gets swallowed by this ginormous fish. He's in there for three days and three nights. And then he, he says, all right, Lord, I'll go. How much easier would it have been for Jonah to obey the first time? All that Jonah had to deal with being swallowed by the whale. You think, of, think about being swallowed by a whale or a big fish for a second. You're, you're in its stomach and Jonah's alive down there and all the other fish and everything nasty that it ate. Ugh. And then Jonah spit out and then he has to go to Nineveh and tell the people God's message. Today I want to use an illustration for you and for me. Miss Kendra, would you come up here and uh, help me illustrate this? Today I've got a Happy Meal. How many of you guys have ever had a Happy Meal before? I haven't had one in a very, very long time, but you know, I'm so excited to be able to open this Happy Meal. What kind of Happy Meal did you get, Mr. Patrick? So I got chicken nuggets, oh, that's french fries, apple slices, and that's good. orange juice. That's all they had, I didn't want soda. <laughs> so Miss Kendra, obeying is like eating the Happy Meal correctly. All right? Okay. But you're not, you're not gonna obey, all right? Just for this illustration. Okay. So let's see what we have first here. Let's take the chicken nuggets because you always should eat your chicken nuggets first. You can, hold, you can hold those, show them. So obeying is, okay. Your mom says to clean your room. Sure, mom, I'll clean my room. Not bad. All right. You're eating it the right way, right? I'm eating it the right way. But mom says, clean your room. But you say, nah, I'm going to do it my way. She says, there's some toys under your bed. I want you to, I want you to pick those toys up too while you're cleaning your room. But you say, nah, I, I really want to play with these toys. So I'm not going to listen to what mom says. Uh -oh. And then you keep playing with your toys and keep playing with your toys. And then mom tells you to come down because she wants to talk to you, but you ignore her. <sighs> it's doing it all your own way. What about, what if you're at school and the teacher says, when you're at recess, you have to play nice with your friends. You have to share. And you actually share. That's doing it the right way. But. What if you want to do it your way? You think you have a better way. And the teacher says, I need you to come line up. And you say, I'm not doing that. I'm going to do it my way. What if when you get home, mom says, you can't play until you do your homework. But you say, homework? I don't want to do that. I'll do it later. Uh oh. That's not good. <gasps> All of them go in there, Mr. Patrick, because we're not listening. Them. We're not listening. <sighs> and then before bed, you should always brush your teeth. Mom says brush your teeth before you go to bed, but you say, nah, I'm going to do it my way. 
Now, if you would have listened, it'd be like eating the, the Happy Meal the right way, but not listening. Uh-oh. Ew. I wonder if it's going to be very tasty. Oh, that looks so appetizing. I'm kidding. Ooh. What does it smell like, Mr. Patrick? Oh, it smells awful. It smells like disobedience. Remember when Mom said clean your room? But you wanted to do it your way. You thought you knew better than Mom. Oh no, Mom just came upstairs and she found out you were playing with your toys the whole time. Uh-oh, now you're in trouble. But guess what? After getting in trouble, guess what you have to do? You still have to clean your room. Ugh. How does it taste, Mr. Patrick? Ugh, that's disgusting. Would it have been better just to obey the first time and eat it the right way? It would have been, but remember? Your teacher said, play nice with the other kids, come line up. But you said, nah, I'm going to do it my way. Uh-oh. Oh, no. oh. oh. Are you doing okay, Mr. Patrick? I don't like doing it my way. But then remember, when you got home, mom said do your homework immediately before you play. But you said, nah, I want to do it my way. Oh no. And then you got in trouble. But guess what? You still had to do your homework. Uh oh. 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 Sin doesn't taste good, does it, Mr. Patrick? It doesn't. And guess what? Mom said brush your teeth, and that's what I'm going to do after this. But you didn't want to brush your teeth. You said, I'm going to do it my way. You got in trouble for not doing it properly, for not being obedient. But guess what? You still have to brush your teeth. Yuck. Ugh. I think that's enough of that. How much better... Would it have been if you just obeyed? If you just ate the chicken nuggets the right way? If you just ate the fries the right way? If you just drank the drink the right way? If you just ate the apple slices the right way? Instead, you get in trouble for being disobedient and you still have to do all those things over again. How much better would it have been if you would have just obeyed the first time? I'll choose obedience, Mr. Patrick. I'll choose to eat my meal the right way. I think I will too. Before we say our memory verse this week, Miss Kendra, let's hear from you guys. Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Pride goeth be before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Pride goeth before destruction. I always be for destruction and party spirit before for Proverbs sixteen eighteen. Try go with before destruction and a holy spirit before a fall. Proverbs sixteen eighteen. Pride goes before destruction, and the hot spirit before a fall. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 16, 18. Wow, you kids did awesome saying your verses from last week. Great job, guys. Our verse for this week is Ephesians 6, 1. Want to say it with me, Miss Kendra? Sure, let's say it. Ephesians 6, 1. Children, 
Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Have your parents film a clip of you reciting this week's Memory Verse Challenge. They can send it to us through Facebook Messenger using this link. In order for us to include it in next week's live stream, make sure to send it to us by the latest Friday morning. If you didn't catch all this, don't worry. We will also include all of these instructions in the description underneath this video. Ugh, Miss Kendra, I still have a really bad taste in my mouth. Do you think I have time to brush my teeth before church? I think we should probably be heading outside, Mr. Patrick. We had church outside last week on the lawn, and we get to do it again this Sunday. So I'll give you a piece of gum once we get outside. Thank you. We really do have to get going. I, we've loved having you guys here this week, but if you want to stick around, there's going to be more singing, music, and a message from God's Word. Thanks for being with us this morning. Bye, guys. Hey, come on, quick. Oh, we got to go. See you guys.